Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're now going to look at doing dual toning using the channel mixer. Just a reminder, we're going to start off doing the dual tones between orange and teal, the most popular. And orange is got red is high, blue is low, green in the middle. And teal is red is low, blue is high, and green again in the middle. So let's add a channel mixer to this. And the way channel mixer works is when we've got red up here, whatever you change down here, you're only going to change red. So let's look at the colors here. If I drag down to here, you can see this, there's some orange in this wall, so we can enhance that. So I got red, high, green in the middle, blue low. But wouldn't it be nice to make blue a bit lower in that? And if we could get, just turning the blue down, it'll make it more orange. And up here we've got a green. And so we would like with that to, to make that a bit more blue. So you want to take the green out of that. There already is some blue in that. And if you've got any of that, that, would, that could help as well. So let's, let's do something which is we'll go to the blue we're going to, only going to change blue here so if i turn down the red i'm not turning red down i'm turning down the blue where there is red which is where there is orange there and in fact if i go all the way down to minus 100 there we go and for to restore the whites I need to go back the other way and these should all add up total to 100. So I will put green up again here. So in other words, I'm only changing blue here, not changing green. But what I'm doing here is saying where there is green, add more blue. And so it's affected this here. See, if I drag this down here, I've turned the blue right up there. So that's challenging the green. So that's very quickly, I've gone from this colour to a pretty good teal and orange there. I could even work further on that. Say, for example, I go to green, and if I turn the green down altogether, that will make this colour here more, more of a blue, more towards teal. And also, if I Turn up the blue where there is green. So I turn up the green where there is blue. We end up with this. So I've rebalanced it back to zero. But now look at the colour here now. It's even more of that sort of somewhere between cyan and blue. So you've got an even stronger teal and orange picture. Let's try something else. Here's another one. Channel mixer. And if I go to red. If I turn the green up, let's have a look with this. If I go down here, see I've got the reds low there, green in the middle, blue is slightly lower, so that's an orange colour. I'm turning green up here, I'm turning up. You see, that it's going more orange because I'm saying when there is green, put more red into it. Yeah? I can compensate there by saying, well, where there's blue, turn the red down a bit. We still keep the orange there. Now then, let's go to green. If I turn up the red here and turn up the blue, and bring down the green. In fact, you can put them all around about the same, or about 33. Or thereabouts. Now what I've done is where there is, I've turned changed the green where there's red, I've turned up the green. I've turned down the green overall though, and where there's blue, I've turned up the green, so I've affected these colours here. And finally on blue, I'm going to turn the green up. So turn up where there is green, turn up the blue. But then turn down the blue altogether. And what I've got now is a picture that's almost entirely teal and orange. Yeah, it's dropped completely 
into that so it's a completely different effect before and after. Here we go. There's teal and orange with the channel mixer. Bit tricky to get your head around, but it's super powerful. Thank you very much for watching.